everyone welcome to my channel my name is Oz today we're going to be playing Azurel's Circle chapter one uh, the first chapter did come out September 3rd of 2018 it was quite a few years ago a little late on the start uh, but better late than never uh, I do love these kind of episodic horror games and it seems to be like it's pixelated as well so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get right into this, shall we? New game. Egan's game. Jordan. Azrael Circle. My name is Clint Lancaster. I'm a detective originally from Lancashire, England. I'm going to tell you about my investigation into my own mother's death. There are a lot of suspicious circumstances surrounding my old family farmhouse. It's somewhere I'll never venture again. I want you to hear the story in full detail so you can be wary. You may find this hard to believe, but it's true. It's all true. I arrived at Lancaster Farm late one night. I walked up the driveway and into my old front yard. Home at last. Easy does it, Clint. You've seen worse things in your own house on the job. Although the worst things didn't involve your own mother's suicide. Yeah, that's a little heavy. What a grim thought. Chin up. It'll be all right. Wait, who left the lights on? And why is the door wide open? If I was as sloppy as the coppers in these parts, I'd be out of a job. All right, is it a point and click? Oh, okay, yeah, point and click. Can you, ah, you can use the mouse, the arrows too. All right. Can't leave now, I haven't learned anything about my mother. I've got to see. I got to get to the bottom of this. Alrighty. Can I look in the windows? Be a peeper. <laughs> Walk around the side? Nope. Alright, in we go. Where to begin? What's the envelope on the table? I guess that's where we're beginning. Hmm. This envelope isn't sealed anymore. I wonder if it was the investigation team when they came to look at the house. Dear Clint, I'm sure that when you learn of my death, you'll show up here. I'm sorry for chasing you away after your father passed. I know it was hard on you too, and most certainly de didn't deserve to be treated in such a way. I'm not in my right mind anymore. I fear I must take my own life to put an end to the heresy that I've committed. Huh. What did you get yourself into? In my last moment of clarity, know that your mother is sorry that her demon is now yours. Her demon. Figuratively or literally. It will creep out from beneath. It'll find you. With love. From beyond. Mother. Right. It will creep from beneath? What's that supposed to mean? She really went off the deep end in her final days. Yep, she sure did. Hmm, it's already nine o'clock. There used to be a number of statuettes and ornamental dishes here. Mum must have packed them up. Must have. The light is already on. Did the police forget to turn it off? Yeah, probably. It's an old umbrella. It doesn't appear to have been used lately. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about this. It's a picture of a peaceful farm scene that my father liked. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's go to the right. Er, the left. It's a photo of me as a boy. I didn't enjoy posing for photographs much, but it made my parents happy. Looking out the window. I can just about make out the front garden in the darkness. Nice. There's a note hidden in here. It looks like something my mother wrote. I miss my dear Edwin so dreadfully. I hope that he's resting peacefully in heaven. 
he always referred to me referred me to Corinthians 1 chapter 15 verses 3 to 4 he always said those verses gave him security okay I don't know what those verses are but what's this you can see the vague outline of the field from the window all right that's that's a window TV it's a television why won't it turn on the power is still active we don't really have a lot of time to sit and watch television with all the work we had to do. Cool. It's that old walking stick. Mom must have had it in her heart department. What? I didn't even see a walking stick. I was trying to look out the window. There must have been something there. Down. We went down, but we came from the left. This is a weird layout. All right. Nothing of note on the counter or inside the cupboard. All right. Fridge. I wouldn't trust eating anything in the fridge at this stage. Nothing of note on the counter or inside the cupboard. The oven doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it needed service? Nothing of note on the counter or inside the cupboard. All right. They must have cleaned everything out of here. This knife may be of use later. Knife. Always need a knife in a spooky horror game. This tea is cold. Let's just leave this one alone for now. How long has that tea been sitting there? At least the water still seems to be running as normal. Sure. It's a table. It looks like an old apple on the table. Is this a rake? Ridiculous. This should be kept in the shed. Oh, what is that? This is creepy. Oh, it's just you, Mr. Stuffigan? Why would you name it Mr. Stuffigan? I haven't laid eyes on you. Any- haven't laid eyes on you in quite some time. I still wish I didn't have to. You gave me the most hellish nightmares. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, The cellar is shut and the lock seems to be rusted. I'll need to smash this door in. Do we need to go in there? Oh. It's a bucket. There's a hole in this bucket. The rust has eaten through the bottom. I used to carry hay in this wheelbarrow. Fields, fields, and more fields. Welcome to the English countryside. Oh, hey. What's this doing all the way out here? A key. It's some of the old equipment we used in the field. It's an card. All right. Do I have an uh, inventory? I do have an inventory. So I got a knife, a pitchfork, walking stick, and a key to the master bedroom. Do I need to save? What? I... Did... Oh, okay. I knew I picked up this pitchfork for a good reason. Okay. An axe head? I'm almost certain that we use the shaft as a support for something. Why, I can't seem to remember what for. I'll keep this for now. Okay, so we have an axe head with no handle. I bet we'll find that soon. Can we look in this window? We can. It's just the kitchen. Alright. Guess we'll go this way. This is making me feel somewhat hungry. We used to always eat our special Sunday dinner here. What was so special about it? Is this another window? If it weren't for the moonlight, I don't think I'd be able to see the front garden at all. It's a little stiff. There we go. A little force usually does the job. A key? This looks like the one that unlocks the door at the top of the stairs. 
So now we have two keys. Who's this? It's a portrait of John Lancaster, my great grandfather. He used to scare me half to death as a child. So the picture of your grandfather scared you half to death and the scarecrow. You were a scary cat. This looks like it should be to a puzzle or something, all these different shapes. Mom always loved these ornamental plates. If I remember right, they were a wedding present. Smokey, where are you hiding? Stupid cat. Who's leaving all the lights on? Okay, so there's a kitty in here somewhere. Not in here. This plant hasn't been fed or watered in some time. Another light switch is turned on already. It saves me a bit of hassle, I suppose. The phone line seems to be dead. Hmm. Dad used to keep a spare shotgun ammo in here. What was the combination? I need three sets of two digits to turn it on correctly. Uh, I, I don't know. That's the top of my head. Okay. Is this a window? The field stretched out for quite a distance. What's in here? This is the door to my room, but it's locked. Okay. Bathroom, bathroom. We always were well stocked for toilet paper. Good, because there's a pandemic coming. It couldn't hurt to have a quick whiz. anything useful in here. Huh. Always smart to carry an antiseptic. What did we get? Key treatment alcohol. Alright. Like every kid, I have many good bath time memories. Mainly running away when it was time for a bath. Oof. I don't understand why people don't like baths. If I look directly below, I can see the path around the side of the house. Cool. It's always good to have a spare towel. Indeed. Indeed. That. I'm not moving it. Hello? Odd. There's nobody there. That was a bit eerie. Uh, can we open this door? Oh, this must be the master bedroom. A few articles of clothing neatly folded inside these drawers. What's this? This is Dad's old journal. I knew he kept this in his final days, but I never read it. 18th May, 1972. I cursed the sickness for taking hold of me so quickly. The doctor paid me a visit and said that there's nothing I can do. I didn't survive the trenches only to get sick at home and die. Aww. World War One, or World War Two, depending on how old he was. I just pray to God that my end is quick and my suffering is minimal. Twenty-first May, nineteen seventy-two. My legs are so weak that I've got to use a walking stick to help myself around. A walking stick? Can you believe it? Just a month ago, I was chasing the foxes away from the wheat. It's been a hard on Clint. But I'm trying to be strong for him, as much as I want him to follow after me on the farm. He's got the brains to make it in London. 25th May, 1972. First my legs, now my arms. I'm not even 50 years old yet, and I'm almost completely incapacitated. Helen has to be almost everything for me now when Clint tends to the farm. So, he's 50, so World War II. Hmm. She's so used to being a housewife that it must be hard for her to do all the manual labor. I love her for doing her best. I picked a good one. 26 May, 1972. This will be my final entry. I may last another couple of days, but I won't be able to write if I get any worse. I'm scared not knowing for sure where I'll go when I die. 
but I'm putting my faith in the Lord. I've been praying in the name of Jesus Christ that I be forgiven for my sins. I've tried to live a good life and keep out of trouble, but sometimes I fell short. I hope I get shown mercy and forgiveness. I hope that my family looked after each other. I'm sure you'll read this at some point, so I'll write it all down for you to read in times of weakness. I love you, Clint. I love you, Helen. I love you too, Dad. I pray you're resting in peace. Oh, that's sad. It's really sad. It's my parents' bed. Nobody's sleeping here now. Yeah, that'd be uh, rather creepy. Does it say the same thing? It is, but a bedside lamp. The house is mostly in perfect order, but the books here are all over the place. Huh. Ooh, window. In the morning, there would be a beautiful sunrise shining through the window. This wasn't always here, was it? Ooh, moved it. Oh, what's this? Did Mum break this part of the wall? It looks slightly like it was bashed in. Maybe there's something inside. There most definitely is. Is this for the attic door? What? Ah, key to the attic. But how are we getting all this stuff already? Uh, we have... I need a combination for this. Oh. Wasn't there something with the Corinth? Whoa, what happened to the painting? What in the world? I don't like this one bit. Well, if it gave you nightmares before, it's sure gonna give me nightmares now. So, 011534. 011534. 011534. Yeah. It's a key to my old room. Great. I don't want to go in the attic yet, so. I used to spin the globe and point my finger at a completely random spot. I told myself I'd travel there eventually. I still only traveled within the United Kingdom. What is it? Is it a little pink dinosaur? Oh, seems like these boxes are full of a lot of my old things. Oh, I can't interact with it. I don't have time to be sleeping. Who left all the lights on? If I did this on a case, my boss would have my head. Seems like these boxes are full of things. Window? It's a dark night outside. Sure be. It's completely jammed shut. I'll need to find something to pry it open with. Dad's walking stick would make for a good crowbar. Oh. I think. Oof. There we go. Oh. Little stuff there? Muddlestrop. <laughs> These are strange names. It's been a while since I've seen you, old pal. Hmm. I wonder if Muddlestrop still has... Sorry, buddy. Gonna need to cut you up. There we go. My old lady. The folks never knew I had this in here if I ever wanted to sly cigarette. Looks like it's empty. Ah, you destroyed your childhood toy. Congratulations. I don't want to go in the attic. Was that lightning? What's this? It's in Mum's handwriting. 1st June 1975. It's been three years to the day since Edwin passed away, and my heart still weeps. 
It's also approaching three years since I spoke to Clint. My guilt ebbs and flows with the days about what I said to him. But it's less and less as of late when he finds out that I'm going to speak with his father. He'll miss out. 2nd June, 1975. I still can't believe it. My Edwin spoke to me. He told me how much he misses me and how horrible it is on the other side. He says I must find a way to bring him back. There needs to be a vessel of some kind, preferably alive, but another form will do temporarily. 3rd June, 1975. He's getting angry. Edwin never raised his voice to me before. It must be horrible where he is, this place that he refuses to name. 4th June, 1975. He went inside me. I blacked out. I barely remember any of it. Something's wrong. He said I'm a hostile environment and putting up too much resistance. 5th June, 1975. I'm struggling to write. He went inside me again, and when he left me, he must have returned downstairs. I have to seal it. This is not my Edwin. Mother, what hellish thing have you done? The... The wording of that was not great. Lighter fuel? Seems kind of pointless with the candle here. Matches would have made a lot more sense. I didn't even see any lighter fuel. At the very least, I can refill that old lighter of mine. It's just an old piano. I remember him moving it up here. It was a nightmare to try to fit it through that trap door. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. What is that? Is that a man? I never liked this damn mannequin. Wait, why is it in this pose? I thought the arms were broken. It's like it's waving. A bunch of old canvases. I remember when I tried to paint. It didn't go well. Right. Boxes full of various odds and ends. Not much of use to me. Get out of here before that mannequin comes alive. Um, what do I have? Key to the upper hall. Okay, we've already been up here. Key to the master bedroom. Yep, yep, the lighter treatment. Ah, uh, exit. Uh, welcome home? Who would write that? And what is it? Are the, those are upside down crosses. See them? Oh, that's a... Uh, Lovely. Hello, creepy portrait. Uh, anything else change? Is there anything outside? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh dear. Uh, excuse me, officer. I thought everybody was away by now. I saw the police cars leave earlier, but I noticed that the lights were still on, and I figured somebody must have left them on. I see. I'm an officer, but not for this case. My name is Clint Lancaster, and this is my old house. I moved away to London for work years ago, but due to recent events. My apologies. My apologies. I'm Stephen Birch. I'm a neighbor. I'm not familiar with a Stephen Birch. Did you know my father? Uh, no, no. I only moved to these parts a few years ago or so. Your accent. Are you from up north? Yes, I'm from Scotland. About a half hour drive from Glasgow, originally. Nice to meet you, Stephen. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me. Not at all, not at all. It was nice to meet you too, Clint. I'm sorry we didn't meet under more pleasant circumstances. Stop by for a cuppa at some point before you go back to London. I'll see myself out. Yeah, get. Get out of my house. Just to make sure I'm following you out there. Oh, is that him? Is that him out there in the field? Is that him? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. How long is this game? I should probably... Save. Um, what to 
do oh uh, uh oh what is that what is this did the cat bring this in here is that a dead bird uh. where is that stupid cat in your <gasps> He's gone. Where's Mr. Stiff again? I don't like this. Oh, the game crashed. All right, so I guess good thing I saved. Mr. Stubb again was gone. Where's Mr. Stubb again? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah, me either. Wow, way to kill it. Oh, all the mood that it was being set is, is dead now. Fields, fields, and more fields. Welcome to the English countryside. Fe you don't see those red eyes in the window! For a cop, you're not very observant. Is this the shaft to the old axe? We used to secure Mr. Suffolkins after it. he broke his post in a storm. Wait, where is Mr. Suffolkins? I'll see if I can secure the old axe head to the shaft. There we go. It's far from sturdy, but it should be a good for a few swings. Yeah. Okay, what about this? The cellar is shut and the lock seems to be rusted. I'll need to smash this door in. This axe should do just a trick. Oh, coincidence that we just so happened to get our axe back. Another letter. A torn piece from the Holy Bible? Who would dare tear this out? The Holy Bible Book of Psalms, 51, 1 and 2. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash away all inequity, and cleanse me from my sin. Dear Lord, please give my forgive my mother for what she has done and forgive me for what I'm about to walk into. I don't... This door didn't used to be here. Looks like Mum must have had it installed and then bound it with rope. It's tied too well to pull apart. How can I remove this? Mm, I mean, you bought a lighter. I'll just pour some of this alcohol onto the rope. All I need now is something to ignite it. Okay. Thankfully, I've got my trusty lighter. Bingo! That burned nicely. What? What is this? Mother, what have you done? Oh no, is that the cat? Is that the kitty? What was his name? Smokey? Poor little beast. Oh. Azrael. Who's Azrael? Clinton Lancaster. Step into the circle. Ooh, gave it a demon of a valley girl accent. <laughs> that voice. Where's it coming from? Who are you? What are you? Release me. Let me into your world. I'll do no such thing. I'll destroy this damn circle. What is... Is that the scarecrow? 
Mr. Sevigans? What evil has possessed you? Ah! Unhand me. Quickly, quickly. Where is it? Quickly, quickly, what? So who are you talking to? Got it. Lucky for me, my friend. Straw is flammable. Burn, baby, burn. If you're still listening, I thank you for the attention. Should you see Azrael's circle in a book, destroy it. Should you hear from somebody, discuss Azrael's circle. Stay well away from them. Should you see Azrael's circle on a wall or floor, run. Anywhere Azrael's circle has been drawn is somewhere that you don't want to be. If you joined in late, please stay tuned because this broadcast will loop. Farewell and God bless. My name is Clint Lancaster. I'm a detective originally from Lancastershire, England. I'm going to tell you about my investigation into my own mother's death. All right, so that was Azrael's Circle, Chapter One. He's definitely had some parts that could scare some people. I mean, I didn't really have that bad of a reaction, but too bad. Interesting little pixelated horror game. I love these kind of things. So I'll definitely be checking out the rest of the chapters. I'm not quite sure how many are out right now. Like I said, this did come out all the way back in 2018. So I'm hoping there's more than just like one other chapter. Because this is pretty good. I love these kind of things. So again, thank you so much for watching. And until I see you guys next time.